So you got even, you're trying to play the game, but there's so much happening with the user interface. I'm gonna walk you through it. I'm gonna give you something easy you can copy and paste so you can get to playing the game. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in. Name's Loru, digital advertiser, Eve Enjoyer. For the better part of 10 years now, and we're gonna walk you through the user interface in EVE Online today. Make sure if you're enjoying the recent EVE content, you like, comment, and subscribe. You already know what to do. Thank you very much. So. The user interface, goodness gracious. Uh, it's crazy and Eve. Let's not waste another second, okay? First thing is you got the Neocom on the left. We're going to start with the left-hand bar here. This can be auto-hidden, one of my favorite things to do with it, and also mess with it as your, at your leisure by right-clicking. You can unlock it, turn on auto-hide, move to the right side of the screen, do with it what you will. The only thing I'm going to tell you about this is click the buttons, really, and that's our first tip with this. Click the buttons, try stuff out, see where stuff is. You're not necessarily going to use every single tool. There are still tools in here that I just don't use, full stop, you know? So you can move these buttons around by right-clicking clicking them you can close it you can remove it from here by right clicking something and then pressing remove and then always get it back by coming up here to this e the neocom menu and coming down i know my face cam's in the way but you can pull the plex vault for example down here and now it's back on the bar right click it to remove it clean it up only keep the stuff you want there for example i have like fitting regional market and wallet and personal assets. I don't really have all the other craziness that's on there, right? So use that to organize and keep your Neocom nice and good looking like, okay? Now let's get into the right-hand side of the screen. All right, all this mess over here. Many of you have been commenting on some of the recent videos saying, Loru, what the heck is the PVP tab? I'm gonna tell you, let's show each other. Before I go any further, make sure that if you want this overview that you see, if you want all of these tabs and you're like, Laura, I don't want to make this overview myself. What you're going to do is you're going to type in my name. That's Laura Mirth Sunstrider right here. And if you click this button, it's going to load this overview in yours. A word of caution. If you click this, then it will overwrite any work you've done on your overview. If you would like to save your overview, you can click this burger right here, open overview settings, and then drag this share into like a notepad or something. There is a notepad in the Neocom menu. So if you come over here and you go to the utilities and then the notepad, I haven't opened this. I don't even know what this is. I'm just going to get rid of that because I don't know what it is. Oh, drag the share over there. There's your overview. Now you can click mine and just play around with it at your leisure. Okay, so that's how you do that. Now, while we're here, this is how you mess with the actual overview itself. The colors, the, is somebody at war with you? But again, instead of going through all of this, I've done it for you. Click the button, get all my settings, and play the game. So let's just start from the top. In order to get to the overview setting, you click the burger, and you go to open overview settings. Okay, when you're messing with this, when you're messing with the presets is right here. That's what's going to dictate what is being shown on this live overview map. So let's just start at the top and go from there. Here's your primary tab. Your primary tab is going to show friendly uh, ships, it's going to show enemy ships. I have it as like a catch-all. It's got the gates, any beacons in the solar system, the sun just as a single planetary thing to warp to, uh, other people's ships, right? We've got my man coming in here on an Amar shuttle. Fly safe, my friend. 07, the whole thing. So this is your catch-all tab. That's the primary. Travel is exactly what it sounds like. It's going to show all the gates, all the stations, and just the sun, again, for some planetary body, just stuff to warp to within the system that is travel-focused. PvP is going to be ships, 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 mainly enemy ships. It's going to show NPCs as well as other people. The color of the person is going to change based on if, sorry, based on their, of their security status. You see, I have, I believe 5.0 is maxed. So other people that have below zero security status, as in they've done criminal activities recently, they're going to show up as different colors in your PvP tab when they're local to you. That way you can know who the heck's a bad egg and who's not. Loot tab is going to be what it is. You can travel to the various gates here, but also I have loot on there and, of course, enemy ships. And you can see this other person's ship there is Nighthawk. Enjoy yourself. This, this is a fun looking ship, is it not? Oh, yes, I do enjoy the Nighthawk. I'm getting distracted. The point is, is that here's the loot tab. It's going to show loot for you. It's going to show wrecks, cargo containers, and the like. Trig lobby and stuff. If you're doing Abyss, it'll show that stuff too. The GTFO tab is exactly what it sounds like. It's got a bunch of celestial bodies you can use to make warp uh, points to. It's going to not show enemy ships. I just want to focus in on getting the hell out. Oh my gosh, there's a yellow, whatever this is. There's a scorpion. That's actually really, really cool. We find a freaking scorpion there. So I'm just going to get the hell away from this scorpion and I'm going to warp to a planet that doesn't show the enemy ships. It just shows the stuff you can warp to. 
One of the final two is we have the all tab. That's what it sounds like. It's got all of it. Everything that you can possibly have in EVE is on this tab. And the final one is your mining tab. It's going to show the asteroid belts. It's going to show asteroids if you're inside of an asteroid belt. Whew. I know. I'm going to take a breath here for a sec. Yeah, so that's the overview. Okay, that's what all of this is. I typically live on these first three tabs. And if my room is done, if my level four is being finished clearing, I'll go to the loot tab and have at it. Okay, sticking to the right side of the screen here, we're going to have this top bar here. This is going to change based on what you click on. And as always, right, right click stuff. You can see a bunch of different options depending on what it is. If you right click to something, if it's a uh, star gate, you can jump to something. You can warp to it and then jump through it. If it's a station and you right click it, you see it has a dock option instead of a jump option because it's not a stargate, right? All of the stuff up here is going to be very similar to, if not exactly the same as your right click menu. If something's an annoying you, you can remove sun from overview by right, remove anything from overview by right clicking and then pressing left click on this to remove it. That'll only remove it from that tab, by the way. So the, this, this planet, I don't like this planet. I'm going to, oh, I like this planet. Just kidding. I'm going to add a planet to overview. It would load it to this tab. The next thing down here we have is the directional scanner. We're going to have an entire video on the directional scanner because it is one of the most vital things in EVE you need to understand. But suffice it to say, this is going to show all the stuff within this bubble. If you open up your solar system map and you can do that, coming down here and going to your solar system map, also pressing F9, all right? And this directional scanner you're going to see is going to get bigger and smaller depending on the range at which you're going to do stuff. Now, there's a Merlin within 10 AU of me. So the Merlin is at somewhere within this bubble. What the heck is this for? Oh, geez, Louise. Um, give me a moment, please. <laughs> give me a moment. <laughs> get some sleepers. They're far away from me, but it's still scaring the hell out of me. We're not going to dock at that, sh at that station because, well, I want to show you guys some stuff. The point is, directional scanner is going to show you uh, various things within this bubble. Now, when you just start using the D-Scanner, the D-Scanner is what people call it, uh, you're going to get a bunch of mess on this. It's going to show you all the things, right? See how as I move, the bubble moves with me. Okay, so this is what the directional scanner is for. You can use it to have various range in order to get the other ships in the area. There's going to be some mess on here when you load it for the first time. What I recommend is you filter it to your PvP tab. This is the point of the directional scanner anyway, really, is to find other ships in your area just to warn you about what's coming. I do a D-scan here. I see there's an Ibis, which is just a basic shuttle, and a Gnosis. Now, a Gnosis is... You can right click something, show info, and you can see, should I be concerned about this? A Gnosis is a pretty popular scout and all arounder ship. So it doesn't exactly tell me that somebody's trying to gank me. Well, there they are. So it looks like they're about to jump through with this Ibis and go have a good time there. So that's what the directional scanner is for. We're almost done here. The final thing is down here in the center. This is gonna be your modules, combat, health. It's your general all around. I'm gonna interact with my ship button area. You can hit your cargo here. If you ever somehow get rid of your directional scanner, you can come down here. Here's your scanner menu. You can reactivate it. Here's where you can also get your probe scanner. Uh, if you have probes equipped, if you're a scanning ship, that's how you're gonna do that. And I, I bet y'all didn't know this. Did y'all know there's a first person cam and eve yet yeah, you're never ever going to use it <laughs> because it's like oh look the emptiness of space and i you're never going to use this so but the point is it's there okay you can always switch back to your orbital camera and your tactical camera if you would like it's just going to show you all the goodies around you in this nice grid and naval combat area section i typically stick to the orbital camera i like seeing my cloak ship it looks nice okay then the rest of this is your chat your drone bay and then all the stuff up here is, again, pretty self-explanatory. That's behind my face. It's your route, your system. It's all pretty easy to see. The big one is the overview. I hope that y'all have seen and learned something from this video. That's going to do it for this. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for all the good stuff. Please, y'all have been enjoying the EVE content. Get me to a thousand subs. We're almost there. The engagement has been quite something. You're going to see some other EVE videos pop up on the screen if you would like to check those out. Let me know how it is in the comments. If you got a better overview, I want to know about it. Tell me, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.